Hello YouTube. In this video, I'll be showing you how I got these cute tribal goddess braids. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna hop right into it. For this style, I'm gonna be starting out with blow dried hair. The products I'm gonna be using today is Freetris Caniculon Hair in 28 inches. I'm also gonna be using the Freetris Deep Twist Crochet Hair to add for the goddess effect, and I'm gonna be adding shining jam to my parts to make them clean. So I'm gonna start out parting my hair in about three sections, with the front having two sections and the back being one full section. After I get my hair parted off, I am going to make sure that I get the front out of the way by twisting it up and wrapping it into a bun. So now I'm just going to start in the back of my head. I actually have started doing that since it's easier, but I'll take that shining jam and then put it on my part. And then I will take my rat tail comb and clean up that part. Y'all, I just invested in a new, I think it's like a barber mirror. And it actually helps me get my parts cleaner now because I used to have a lot of trouble. But in the back of my head, I'm going to do three sections. And then I'm going to take shine and jam to separate those sections of hair just to make everything clean and neat. So I've already pre-sectioned my braiding hair into small sections so I can easily feed those in. But when I start my knotless braids, I separate the section into three tails and I take my braiding hair and add it into the middle tail of that section and I wrap it around and then I get another piece and repeat that same process by adding the other tail into the middle section, wrapping it around and then I do that again with a third piece and once I get the third piece into the braid, I just kind of plait down to finish off that braid. So I did want to show y'all this once again, where you'll see that I separate the section into three tails and I start off a braid like regular. And then I take my braiding hair, adding it into the middle portion of that section and wrap it and get around. And then, like I said, I repeat that process until I have three pieces of braiding hair into the plait. And then I just braid all the way down until I'm done with the braid. If you're interested in more knotless braid styles, I have an entire playlist that's dedicated to knotless braids. I am going to link it up above and down below. So if you are interested in that, please click on that to watch other videos. So I am finally finished with the back. Uh, the back took me about two and a half hours, y'all. That is horrible. But this is what we have so far. I know y'all like to see the back. So now we're gonna do some braids in the front and then we'll be done with the style. Also, when I do my braids in the front, you're gonna notice that I'm just gonna braid it or corn roll it like regular. And then I'm gonna add the extensions at the end of the braids. I really don't feel like feeding it in through them. So I'm just gonna add the weave at the ends and then we gonna be done with the style. So when I do my corn rolls, I actually take shine and jam and put it all on the parts just to make sure that that section is clean and neat. I take my comb and I just kind of work that product into the hair and then I start corn rolling like regular. Um, if you don't know how to corn roll, y'all, it is so many videos on YouTube and I do think that it's a very helpful skill to have because you can do a lot of fun things with your hair. But once I am done with that cornrow section, I am gonna take some caniculon braiding hair and add it to the end of that braid. And I'm gonna add that hair in just like I did to the knotless braid, just to kind of, I guess, you know, hide that I'm adding in weave to the ends of the braids. The reason I am adding in the caniculon hair to the end of the braid is so all of the braids can be the same length and everything looks uniform. So now I'm just going to be parting off the rest of the braids and I wanted to show y'all that again at a different angle about how I add the caniculon hair into the ends of the braids. So I just add it in to that middle piece just like I do knotless braids, wrap it around and I do three pieces of caniculon hair to make a full braid. So this is what the braid looks like when all the pieces are added in and this is how my hair is looking so far and I think it's cute. So I am done with the front. You see here I am doing my edges and so here is how my hair is looking as of right now. 
I did want to show y'all how the braids looked before I crocheted in the curly hair for that goddess effect or goddess look. But I know everyone loves to see the back, so this is what the back is looking like right now. And this is how long the braids are. So now I'm just gonna dip the ends in hot water to keep it from unraveling. I did want to have the ends as straight as possible. So I use a towel to wring all the water out and I noticed that the hair was still kind of crinkly at the bottom. So I dipped it again and tried to get the hair as straight as possible. And y'all, when I dip the hair, I hold it in the water for five seconds. So now I'm gonna take my setting mousse and place that on my hair. This is just to set the style. So I take it and I put it all on the braids as well as the knotless braids in the back. This just helps with any flyaways and just making the style look neat. I then take a do-rag and place it on top of the hair and then take a blow dryer to set the style. So now that the style is set, I am going to go ahead and crochet in the deep twist freetress hair. When it comes, it actually comes in sections, so I do separate those to get it to desired width. And when you separate it, it does tend to get frizzy, but I just take shine and jam to put them back together. But I then take it and crochet the hair through the braids to give it that goddess effect. When you do it this way, it makes the curly hair temporary, so you don't have to keep it in if you don't want to. This curly hair does tend to get matted and get in the way so I like the option of being able to pull it out when I'm done with it. I will say crocheting it in does make it easy to come out so just make sure that you're aware of that. But this is the finished look y'all. I did add some hair jewelry for some pizzazz and I didn't really add that much curly hair because I told y'all it gets in the way and I also didn't really have a certain pattern that I was putting it in. I just thought well curly hair needs to go here it needs to go here so that's where I put it. But here is what we are working with right now. This is what the style looks like in the back with the curly hair added. And y'all, I am in love with it. One good thing about this style is that you can style it in different ways. Like you can put this hair into a bun. You also can do a kind of half up, half down style with this if you want to. Possibilities are actually endless with this style. So I'm actually really happy with it and I love how it turned out. So let me know down below what y'all think of this style. This is actually my first time doing Doing something like this I believe these are called tribal braids and I'm very happy with how it turned out let me know down below if you liked it without the curly hair or with the curly hair or both I just wanted some different options but pretty soon I probably be taking the curly hair out just to wear the braids this style did take about five hours to complete I used about three bundles of the Freetress Canicolon straight hair and about a half a pack of the deep twist hair. All products that I use will be linked below in the description. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. It lets me know what y'all like, what y'all don't like, what you wanna see, what you don't wanna see. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you're notified every time that I post something so you don't miss something. And I will see y'all in my next video.